Hello traders, uh, hello traders, uh, the title of the video is Fibonacci Trader Reveals an Advanced uh, Fibonacci uh, Trading uh, Strategy. Fibonacci Trader Reveals an Advanced uh, Fibonacci Trading Strategy. We're going to go to the yearly charts of uh, Free Paul McMoran incorporation free paul mcmoran incorporation the epic is fcx for stroke charlie s ray uh, this is uh, a russell 1000 a component an american stock and we on the yearly chart and i want to share with you an advanced uh, fibonacci uh, retracement uh, trading method all right advanced Fibonacci retracement uh, trading method. All right. Uh, very often, which I told trader before, one of the way traders are trading blindly uh, is that uh, they will learn a powerful trading strategy, and they will go on the three minute time frame, five minute time frame, fifty minute time frame, thirty minute time frame, trying to apply uh, that uh, powerful or advanced uh, trading uh, strategy very often uh, they do not get any success not because the strategy is useless but because they are trading the market noise all right so this strategy i would prefer that trader can use it i would prefer that they use it on the yearly chart so you may say to me george i can my charting software does not allow me to see the yearly chart so I may say to you, in that case, you can apply okay uh, this strategy on the quarterly chart. So you may turn around and say to me, George, I don't even have the quarterly chart. Then I may say to you, use it on the monthly chart. But if you're on a monthly chart, you need to be a little bit careful. Though the strategy can work on any time frame, I would prefer that trader use it on the yearly chart and quarterly chart. If you do not, if you cannot see the yearly chart or quarterly chart, then uh, well, you may use uh, the monthly chart, all right? But it is valid on all time frame. But to have more, okay, firing power, you want to use it on the yearly chart, quarterly chart, maybe on the monthly chart, okay? Let's get started. So, wh how do we apply that strategy? This strategy is valid for swing trading and position trading. We can use it also for day trading, so I will explain to you how we can use it for day trading. We will use it as a trading setup, all right, on a higher time frame. Then we go to the lower time frame for day trading. We can even use it for scalping if we are yeah, advanced traders. We can go from a higher time frame to the lower time frame to scalp trade if we see okay a bullish or bearish okay trading strategy, uh, trading setup okay in place. Okay, applying when we are applying this uh, okay Fibonacci retracement trading uh, strategy. All right, so let's get started. So what are we looking for? So at the beginning of each year, so so soon in January 2017, one can apply that strategy. So you can see here, this is the candle for 2016, and this is the candle for 2015. All we have to do is to apply the Fibonacci retracement from the high to the low of uh, okay the previous year so the previous year is 2015 in this case we apply fibonacci retracement from the top to the low all right and we leave those lines on our chart so then from the yearly chart which are what i recommend to swing traders is to go to the weekly chart so what are you looking for you are looking for trading setup in a vicinity of those of fibonacci retracement like you see all this line here the 38.2 percent the 50 percent the 61.8 percent the 78 percent and so on and so on of fibonacci retracement levels all right so as you can see on this chart from the yearly chart we have applied the fibonacci retracement to the year 2015 then we switch to the uh, weekly chart yes or no all right so here we are we are now on the weekly chart all right this is how i want today to use it yearly chart and then go to the weekly chart to see whether you may see a trading setup near those key levels you can see that uh, the 2016 is starting here i will place a vertical line there see here it is 
So you, you draw your vertical line. So this is the new year. So you will be starting to use this, this strategy at the beginning of the year. But you don't just buy or sell. You are looking for bullish and bearish trading setup. So you can see here. Well, you can see the price went up. You can see how it went up. Look, area with traders should understand that. Price went up. One, two, three. All right. So the minimum price move is free. The price rally up to the which level? The 38.2% Fibonacci tracement level of last year, 2015. Because the price structure is 1, 2, 3. We know that. If you do not know, know it, that's fine. So price rally up. So price, you can see that it breaks below that uh, one, that 38.2% uh, level. All right? And it rally up to retest it here. So break below and retest a key Fibonacci level on the weekly chart. Now this is a bearish trading setup. Break below, retest. And also traders who understand it your way know that minimum price move is free. So we will be saying to traders priority to bearish signal below that 38.2% Fibonacci retracement level. And then we will use this uh, weekly chart as a trading setup. We will use the two hour time frame for the signal or four hour time frame for the trading signal. And we'll use 15 minute time frame for the entry if we are swing a trading different time frame trading method. Here it is. All right. If the signal fails, we will come out straight away. Look what the price did again. Exactly again at 38.2% level, the price formed now a double top. So first time here, bearish trading setup, break below, retest. This is a bearish trading setup. Prior to bearish signal below, was successful. Price went down for two months. All right. And then he rally up again, okay, to retest the same key level. And this time, because here, as the price turn around here, you see it formed a higher low. So because it formed a higher low here, we will say that, all right, the bullish momentum is increasing. It formed a higher low, but it failed to form a new higher high because a higher low should be followed by a higher high to confirm okay, the validity of the bullish momentum. But here, uh, the bullish momentum was not confirmed because the price has failed to form a new higher high. But in fact, we have equal high, equal high which is a double top. And here again, this is again, all right? So probably you can see when a little bit above it, break below again, that 38.2% level, and now it's retesting again. This is again a bearish trading setup. We'll implement a different time frame trading method to trade it. And here again, it was successful. Yes or no? Now look carefully, my friend. The stock that we are looking up is a free port, uh, MacMoran, okay? <laughs> Funny name. Mac Moran, no Moron, okay, Moran, okay, all right, so here we are, so here, here again, this was successful, okay, swing trade, and look what's happening now, my friend, finally, because the 38.2% the Fibonacci investment level for 2015 was the resistance before, since the beginning of 2016, look what we have seen recently, the opposite, finally, the price breaks above it, and look what's happening now, my friend, is retesting it. What is this? This is a bullish trading setup. We are having now on this weekly chart a bullish trading setup. This is how one should use the advanced Fibonacci retrenchment trading strategy. So now we have a bullish trading setup. Let's go. Let's try to be a little bit curious. We go to the two hour time frame and see what is happening there. All right. So this is where we are now. Here we are now on the two-hour time frame. So price breaks above that 38.2% uh, Fibonacci tracement level, and now here it is. Here we are on the on the on the a two-hour time frame. All right, two-hour time frame. Here it is. Okay, but here the price start going up on a two-hour time frame. But also for day traders and swing traders, the, uh, day traders scalpers, as you see here, it breaks above it test. As a day trader using TSTW24, break a bow retest, you go to the first best time frame, apply the TSTW24 to see whether there is a demand to buy. Here, there was a demand to buy and the price, as you can see, went up here. Okay, but uh, one more thing. As you can see on the two hour time frame, we want to apply multi talent and trading. Here it is, you see. So, prior rally up, went up to point point A to point B 
point B and I pull back to point C which is uh, this where we are now all right by using the pitchfork tool now you see now okay, the price going up a bit so can we say now that we have a signal not yet why the two hour time frame is the the signal time frame for the weekly chart we do not yet have a signal so the signal will be we will prefer it to come out of uh, this uh, bearish channel you see this bearish channel uh, we prefer it to come out of this bearish channel you see here there's a small bearish channel here can you see will you agree so let's remove some line because I want you to understand a different time frame. so here we, here is there is no yet signal okay so our signal will be something like this price breaking out of that uh, small blue bearish channel and then uh, forming a higher low we will prefer in this scenario because there's a resistance in this, this resistance here we will prefer it to break you see here this resistance here i'm talking about this one here talking about this resistance here so i personally i prefer the signal to be again breaks above that uh, level here uh, in the zone of 14 dollars 18 to break above it and to this to re test it on the edge something like that would be beautiful and to start changing direction very important break a ball retest and start changing direction that will constitute the bullish uh, signal the setup is on the weekly chart but you remember we have started everything from the yearly chart but now we have identified the setup on the weekly chart because we are applying the, the advanced Fibonacci trading strategy on the yearly chart now the signal will be something like this before we will go to the 15 minute time frame to enter our swing trade again we'll wait for break a ball retest then around we will draw our channel also on a 50 minute time frame before we'll enter the trade at the key level on the edge all right there's one more example i want to show you here and i'm going to go again to the yearly chart okay talking about uh, fibonacci trader reveals uh, an advanced uh, fibonacci uh, an advanced fibonacci retracement trading strategy we are going again to the yearly chart this time we are looking at a different financial instrument this time we are looking at uh, what's the name again uh qep qep resources q EP resources. The EPIC is uh, QEP, all right? That's uh, Quebec Eco Papa. This is again a Russell 1000 component. And again, as I told you before, the previous year is 2015. We apply Fibonacci retracement to the range of that yearly candlestick bar and we leave it here. So all the Fibonacci retracement levels are here. And then we go to which time frame? Weekly chart, all right? weekly chart weekly chart all right we go to the weekly chart and what are we looking for we're looking for bullish and bearish uh, trading setup in the vicinity of those uh, fibonacci investment level you can see here 38.2 percent 50 percent 78 percent okay those are the fibonacci investment level. so at the beginning of the year one more time we will put again the vertical line at the beginning of the year you getting it now <laughs> all right let me know how you find this video in the comment section i love to know so here at the beginning of the year the price okay form in fact this is uh, a double bottom by the way a lot of traders may disagree you see here a long tail this is uh, a pivot point followed by okay another low here this is a, a shallow is quite a narrow not a shallow narrow double bottom i'm always careful when i'm trading a, a very narrow okay double bottom chart pattern. i would prefer a double bottom chart pattern to be a little bit wide you see this one is quite uh, narrow so whenever you are trading that be a little bit okay uh conservative be a little bit defensive so to speak so at the beginning of the year as you can see the price start going up it reached the 38.2 percent level can you see can you see this inverted uh, doji here so the price went all the way there found a resistance people were acknowledging okay you see here again it's like a break below you see break below retest here come back down now it's retesting for the first time that's why this candle here is an inverted doji people sold it again here it came down for me an inverted doji <laughs> all right and from there about the bearish traders okay couldn't push it down more but for one month it went down it opens uh, it opened here went all the way here 
But they sold it down. But the following month, it breaks the bow. It breaks the bow that 38.2 percent level. Will you agree that uh, what we were discussing before is similar? So one more time again, look what the price did again at that point. It breaks above, this is another bullish trading setup, above the 38.2% level. It breaks above that 38.2% level, retest it here. What is this? This is a bullish trading setup. At least wait for this common set trend line here to be broken. Pure, this one, this candle here. So the candlestick bar that will breaks, okay, so... I'll come back to that in a minute. Hopefully, I will, I will remember that. So, the point I want to make, this is a bullish trading setup. We will use a different time frame, trading method to trade it. Weekly chart, two-hour time frame, and also 15-minute time frame for the entry. So, you may say to me, George, I'm a day trader, so it breaks a bull, it tests. Use the TSCW24 from here. Okay, see, one month, it went up, all right? But the point I want to clarify also regarding the, the common set trend line, so, so trend line that we draw very close to the price, you can see that this is the candlestick bar that breaks above the common set trend line, okay, after the retest. That's the bounce. Why, as I explained this before, you need to be careful. Where you want to buy? You want to buy either above the high of that candlestick bar or somewhere near the media line of that candlestick bar. You can see that uh, this candle, the following candlestick bar did open here, all right? But what the price did, the price went down a bit to retest the media line of the prior, the previous candlestick bar, even went below it before coming back above it. So those are the places where you want to buy, either above the high of that candlestick bar or, okay, retesting the media line of that uh, candlestick bar and then you will implement a top-down trading method to trade it. Some more experienced traders, as you pull back like this and retest the eight like this, they will start implementing different time frame. So some more advanced traders will be able to catch even this candlestick bar as a swing traders. All right, you see here? It works beautifully. Look what the price did, the price rally up. So this is what we are talking about again. Again, I was talking about this earlier on, you see. From a higher low, what is this? This is an invitation to buy. Price from a new higher high in comparison to the prior high. This And then pull back and form a higher low. What? This is a, a an invitation to buy. All right? But look, we will say, okay, the bullish momentum is now increasing. But look what's happened here. The price after forming, anytime you see a financial instrument that form a higher low but fail to to display a new higher high, it's telling that that bullish moment that bullish momentum is not very strong. So this is a higher low after a higher high, but the price failed right here to form a new higher high. This is about the language of the price. So here we have again a sell signal because the price failed to form a new higher high. In fact, we have equal high or double top where at 78 percent look at that level 78 percent fibonacci retracement level of last year <laughs> all right so you will be able to buy, buy it here you will be able to sell it here using different time frame trading method but now that the price from equal high look at this beautiful high probability trade i talked about this before Okay, a lower high, TSTW, S Y S usual, TSTW24 trader, I mentioned this in many of our videos, you see, a double top, okay, if you have a lower high, okay, that is following, okay, or a double top followed by a lower high, that lower high is a high probability trading setup, this one here. So you may say, all right, so you at least, you see, draw your common set trend line. So you may say, okay, after this candle is closed, what do you need to do? You can just highlight, you want to, if you want to sell, you remember, you will sell either below the low or that bearish candle, or when the price rally a little bit up near the media line of this candlestick bar that peels through the common center line, below the low, or a rally into the, all right? the media line of the prior candlestick bar. You see, that's how perfect. So they sold it near the media line of this candlestick bar. Okay, if you were too late, you would have bought it below the low of that prior candlestick bar. So that was, again, a, so this was good, straight, second trade, beautiful. This one, even more, okay, juicy, so to speak. All right. And you see, it came back again, where to where? 
the thirty-eight point two percent level. Now we know that a consolidation is taking place between the seventy-eight percent Fibonacci retracement level and the thirty-eight point two percent Fibonacci retracement level of last year. Now, do you will you agree with me that uh, this strategy of using the Fibonacci retracement is quite advanced, is quite powerful for swing trading, even for day trading, and for scalping? So. Here it is, it pull back. So now this is another one here for ADO with trader. Pay attention. Look, the price is now, it came down. One, okay. Two, all right. Three. So from the 78% level, it came down. One, two, three, to retest the 38.2% level. This is again a bullish trading setup at the 38.2% level, Fibonacci retracement level of last year. A, this is a bullish trading setup. Implement a top down trading metal where it is, boom. The price run fast as you, you can see this candlestick bar here. You see how why you have a tail here because as the price was coming near, okay, the 78 percent level, talking about this candlestick bar, people quickly sell it and it came down again to retest the 38.2 percent level where you find the support before pushing it all the way up here. Now, <laughs> this is very interesting because. Um, Professional were quite demanding. They wanted to sell it exactly at 38. Uh, they want to sell it exactly at a 78 percent level. All right. Some were very quick to sell before it reaches. So now that they have, they sold it here first time. It went down all the way here. Then they bought it quickly, quite return and close up here. Now they gently put it back to the 78 percent level where they are selling it now. So they sold it down like this. As always, whenever you see a tall candlestick bar like this, remember how we do it. You want to sell, sell below the low, all right, break below, retest, or wait for a rally to bring it near the 50% Fibonacci retracement level of that prior candlestick bar. And in all cases, use a top down trading method or a different time frame trading method. Can you see that? Isn't it beautiful? All right. This is how one can use an advanced Fibonacci retracement trading uh, strategy. All right, this is the end of uh, this tutorial. Uh, to summarize this video, we go to a higher time frame, preferably yearly chart. At the beginning of a new year, we, we highlight the, 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 the Fibonacci retracement uh, key levels of the prior year. And then we go to the weekly chart looking for trading setup in the vicinity of those uh, a Fibonacci retracement key levels. When we identify a trading setup, we will implement a different time frame trading method without ignoring the economy news and the fundamentals. All right. Now we can apply. I prefer that they use the yearly chart. We can apply the same strategy on the quarterly chart. So you see on the quarterly chart. So you go to the quarterly chart. Let's talk about it very fast. So if you want to apply this strategy on the quarterly chart. So you go to the quarterly chart, so this is the last quarter of this year. So what we will do, we will highlight, we will apply Fibonacci retracement to the previous quarter. Here it is. But this is working more beautifully on the yearly chart because the quarterly candlestick bar, some of them will may have a narrow range. So it may be useful sometimes, but it may not. So here it is again, you apply Fibonacci retracement to the range of the previous quarterly candlestick bar and as this candlestick bar is opening and then you want to trade you want to want to day trade or for the quarter day trade swing trade around those key levels but as i've been saying a hundred times i will prefer the yearly chart okay we can do exactly the same strategy on the monthly chart that's so you see this is the monthly candlestick bar we apply the fibonacci investment to this candlestick bar and we want to make our decision uh, as this uh, month of December is now opening around the Fibonacci retracement of the previous candlestick bar. Now, when you start applying this on the monthly chart and weekly chart, you will notice that it works beautifully more on the yearly chart because the key levels on the yearly chart are powerful key levels where the hedge fund, the investment bank are making uh, their decisions. All right. So this is the end of uh, this tutorial. If you have any question or suggestion, put in the comment section. And of course, always I read the comments. Or right? you may say, oh, George, blah, 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 blah. You didn't answer my comment. 
but I always answer the comments sometime in another video. Okay, some traders are following us very well. We are noticed last time a trader say, well, George, thank you very much for answering my question in that video. So that trader watched the video, he knew that uh, he knew that okay, I answered the question. So this is what we are doing. So trader are posting comment, all right. I read it, pay attention, I note it, I say, all right, now we must record a video about this. Then we record a video, all right. Sometime you may think that oh George, you didn't talk about my comment at all. Well, sometimes it's because of what we are trying to do, okay, how we are recording video, but we don't forget you, okay, you will be answered. We are the GSTW24 traders talking about Fibonacci trader reveals an advanced Fibonacci retracement trading strategy. Happy trading to you all and I'll speak to you soon. Now, if I haven't seen you before Christmas, I would like to say to you now, Happy Christmas and Happy New Year too. All right.